Yes, yeah, so um, uh, Greenland, which is available on uh, Amazon Prime Video, which is an apocalyptic disaster which pits Gerald Butler against an approaching comet that's threatening to wipe out life on Earth. He's John Garrity. He's a structural engineer um, attempting to rebuild his broken marriage to Alison, played by Marina Baccarin. And they, they have a young son who's very excited by the fact that this comet is going to make the, the, the closest flyby in history. But... John and his son then go to the supermarket and he gets a presidential alert on his phone announcing that his family have been chosen for shelter and he doesn't know what that is and he goes back home and he's got a whole bunch of friends around they've all come around for a barbecue they're all watching that there's a bit of the comet is going to come off and go in the sea and then it doesn't land in the sea it lands somewhere else and it suddenly becomes apparent that the earth is definitely under threat and he's the only person that has got a message and he now has got to consider taking his family as fast as he can to where the message tells him to get them knowing that the neighbours can't can't come with. Here's a clip. John! 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 Oh, God. None of them got called. Two days. They got it all wrong. There's a ton of fragments on that thing. They're saying that one of them is a planet killer. And now they've grounded all non-military flights. I mean, what do we do? I, I, I don't know. It. No, I, I don't even know if this shelter relocation thing is, is real. This and you know it! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It's just, just please give us a call if you find out anything when you get there. Like where we can go to be safe. You know I will, Emmy. Now, I'm a big fan of good disaster movies, and you very rarely get a really good one. This is a really good one. It's got a great script by Chris Barling. It's directed by Rick Rumroar, Rick Rumroar who made uh, uh, Angel Has Fallen. And the best thing about it is this. Um, what it does is it puts you in a situation which we've seen in you know many movies dating right back through the history of cinema but it concentrates on the relationship between the three central characters and how it would play out if you were basically a fairly ordinary person who suddenly found yourself in an extraordinary circumstance so yes you get the explosion stuff that you need i mean this is a very mid-budget movie i think it's 30 35 million so you get you know the explosions and the stuff and the things that you want but what you primarily get is absolutely nail-biting tension as this guy and his wife and his kid attempt to make their way to this place where they've been told they have to go for shelter and they're dealing with traffic jams they're dealing with mobile phone signals that don't work they're dealing with getting separated in crowds i mean yes the idea of you know fire falling from the sky is terrifying but not half as terrifying as a trip to the chemists that they have to make to get meds for their kid after society has started to break down i have now seen this three times and the first time i saw it i it was late on friday night and i really enjoyed it and then i thought i wonder whether you know maybe my critical faculties were out lunch and i sat and said to you know my, my family look can we can we just watch this and whether we have to you know probably start watching it five minutes in this is really good this is really good this is tense this is nail biting this is gerard butler is being really you know, exactly the person that you want for this film and i then watched it a third time because i was writing a review of it and i i think it is a really good proper popcorn friendly b movie and particularly at the moment when you know we've had we haven't really seen it's gonna be skyfire i suppose was the last one this I, I was knocked out by it. I was genuinely knocked out by how tense it was, by how gripping it was, by how much you act really cared for the people. And you and that's the thing that most disaster movies now get wrong because you can do CGI graphics that can show entire worlds blowing up. Let's just do that. No, the thing that makes these things work is proper tension, proper pacing, proper characters. And this has got all of those in spades.